Martini? I'm on my way out to see you. You're coming now? Don't tell me you couldn't use a little extra help with all those wedding arrangements. He's a guy who is extraordinarily depressed and frustrated and needs for really for the first time to have some sense of what is meaningful or true about his life and uh, goes on this quest. Life is short and I can't afford to waste another minute. And pretty much he doesn't discover a damn thing. <laughs> what about the Winnebago out there? What do you call that? That's an expensive vehicle. I didn't want to get it, but I did. That was completely your mother's idea. I play Jeannie Schmidt, who's Warren Schmidt, Jack Nicholson's daughter. And in the film, I'm getting married to a man that he just finds utterly beneath me and just a, a kind of a toad. You're making a big mistake. Don't marry this guy. I am begging you to marry Randall. He's not in your league. I come back to my father's home when uh, my mother, his wife, has died. Suddenly the family is me and him, and I don't even really know him very well. I'm sort of the undesirable fiance of his daughter. She was a very special lady. And it comes from a loving, warm family and uh, has a real, real close maternal bond with his mother. People used to raise their eyebrows because I breastfed him until he was almost five, and I say, well, you just look at the results. I raised a sensitive, devoted boy who has turned into a sensitive, devoted man. She's very uh, comfortable with her sexuality, and uh, so it was a lot of fun to play off of Jack's character, because uh, Warren is just the opposite. He's very repressed, he's very, uh, tight about those things. I could tell you got the cheapest casket. Everybody could. There was one less expensive which they showed me and I refused it. You mean a pine box? It seems like kind of a basic thing that you might get to a certain point in life and realize that you had made all the wrong choices and bought all the wrong packages and completely screwed up your life and but always with good intentions and thinking you're obeying the rules. Yes. Ow. Stop! Stop! Stop kidding me! Let's talk about this! You were my friend. It was all a big mistake. I think it's probably the journey of a man who goes in search of himself and finds not the answer that he was looking for, but something deeper. I know we're all pretty small in the big scheme of things, and I suppose the most you can hope for is to make some kind of difference. But what kind of difference have I made? Warren, what is the matter? I'm OK. It still seems pretty weird for this to be happening today. I have these left over from my hysterectomy. They've expired, but I think it's OK. Mr. Schmidt will have a seat right there, All right? Mr. Schmidt? Mr. Schmidt? About Schmidt. Playing this month, only on Warner TV. The world's best television.